What I'd like to demonstrate today is a kind of continuation of what we looked at last time, which is branding of, uh, of your SharePoint Office 365 or on-premises SharePoint site using uh, a SharePoint app. Uh, so that becomes really handy when, uh, when you want to package your solution and sell it on the marketplace, uh, and your solution is actually a branding solution. So what I have here is Office 365 tenant. Uh, it's a developer site. Uh, this is a root site. Um, and we looked at how to, how, how to style root sites um, uh, in the last example. But one of the things that's kind of tricky is how to style subsites. So if I go to site contents here, uh, I have one subsite here, and, uh, and, and that's the subsite that I also wanted to style. So there's a bit of a, uh, you know, there a bit, bit of a different process involved in styling subsites. So I want to focus on that uh, with you. So, my Visual Studio, Studio solution that you're looking at right now, this is a solution from the last uh, example. Uh, I just kind of wanted to go through it. It's basically a regular SharePoint template uh, app um, from Visual Studio 2012. And the only thing I modified here is I added my master page and I uh, added uh, some CSS files and uh, uh, and a JavaScript here. Uh, and in JavaScript here, app.js also comes out of the box and that's where whole logic happens. Um, what we had in past example, we basically get a hold of the uh, root web and then we just set the master page uh, to our app master page. Right now it's commented because we reverted it back, but uh, that's how you would set your master page. And then we just execute the function. Uh, so that's old solution um, and we looked at, at that last time. So let's take a look at the new solution. It's a little bit bigger solution and I want to go through it and kind of explain what's happening behind the scenes so um, again we're, we're gonna call this SharePoint ready which is called from the uh, main uh, app page um, the default ASPX so as soon as people land on the default page of the app uh, this whole logic uh, kicks in and uh, in here obviously I also have uh, uh, my master page and some of the CSS uh, and images to make it make my customizations prettier. You'll see it at the end. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, so once the SharePoint ready function triggers, it uh, it calls the update root master. Update root master is right here. Uh, it gets a, a hold of the current site collection and also um, gets a hold of the current web, so it can change the root site. Uh, master page and that's again something that we've done in, uh, in past example now what we do next is we uh, so we execute this uh, set of instructions what we do next we actually get a hold of the of all of the subwebs on the site and um, we uh, we call the update subsites uh, function so update subsites function uh, enumerates uh, through all of the subsites that are under that site and under, under our root site and we in here we kind of have a bit of a checking uh, mechanism if um, uh, the reason reason being is that uh, apps are also subsites underneath the site collection and apps have their own master page and last time we applied uh, you know one of the default master pages to the app side it kind of messed up the app uh, look and feel so we don't want to do that so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the current subsite, uh, current master page is an app master page that don't really don't really uh, do anything. Uh, but if it's not, then you know that means it's a regular site. And obviously, in here, logic can also say if the web template is of this kind, then you know sa same sort of scenario. Um, in so what's happening here? We're actually just just as we did in the, uh, before. We uh, execute the sat master page routine and uh, just execute the query. So uh, the trick here is that um, first you update the root site and then you execute the query. Then you get a hold of all the webs and in a, in a success method over here, you actually perform all the, the logic of, of the update and then you call the update again. So it took a little while to, to figure this out. Uh, initially, I pretty much had similar logic to this, but I did not have the uh, the execute query um, and obviously you know my master page was applied but then it was just not applied so um, so, so that so that's the main um, trick behind this uh, and another thing that you need to also remember is since we're uh, since we're touching the root site and all of the sub sites you have to have full control under site collections again I tried putting just you know manage and uh, 
and, and right, that didn't work. You have to have full control. So let's go ahead and deploy this app and see how you know how it behaves in action. We while it's deploying, we're already seen that uh, this particular site has uh, um, just uh, Oslo out of the box master page, and uh, we're gonna take a look at how that changes once the once the site once the uh, app is applied and deployed. Um, so let's give it a couple of moments to. Um, to make to install the, the app and here it is it's gonna ask me if I want to trust this app I'm gonna say yes and here's my app keep in mind as soon as I launch it which I just clicked on the app it'll perform the changes it won't give me any message boxes or anything like that which you probably want to put in case you're debugging uh, uh, this app and here it is here's my beautiful branding a little uh, swoosh here and uh, the colors and rounded corners under some of, my button, some of the buttons here. So that's a root site. Uh, let's go ahead and click on a test site. Uh, and my test site is also updated. Success. So here it is. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more videos.